Hi friends, I'm glad we were able to talk about Mexican folk art today um, in class. We'll be doing an assignment that is inspired from Mexican folk art. The design that's commonly used is the moon and the sun design. There's lots of different ways to do it. On uh, my canvas page you'll see that I've given you different design ideas to help you start thinking about this. I will. We will only be doing the drawing today. We're not going to worry about coloring because I really want you to think about how am I going to draw this? How am I going to make this look? So in class, please do not start coloring today. All you need is a pencil and paper and your canvas on your computer to give you some design ideas. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I forgot to mention, you'll need something round, like a bowl or a plate, um, to trace. I think it's going to make it a lot easier for a lot of you. So if you didn't go get one of those, go get it now. Um, again, we're not going to copy this. I'm not going to show you how to do everything. I am just going to give you some ideas, and then I would like you to come up with your own design. But we can all do the first few steps together. So take your plate or your bowl. Let's go ahead and plop it down in the center of our paper. Now with our pencil, remember today is all about just coming up with a plan. We're not going to be coloring at all today. We don't have enough time to make it look really nice and design it all in the same day. So we're going to trace the plate. Let's get that basic sun shape. Or if you're using a bowl, go ahead and trace the bowl. Now you can decide how thick or thin you want your moon. Some artists that we looked at had really thin moon. Some artists used a very wide moon so that they could divide the space a little bit more equally. This one I did kind of a thicker moon. I probably could have even gone over a little bit more. I think for this one I want to do a thin moon. So you get to choose how thick or thin you want your moon to be. Just slide your plate over and cut off that part that you want to be the moon. Now, here's the, the rest of this is up to you on how you want to do it. I'm going to give you ideas. I definitely don't want to see you guys copying me. You can use some of my ideas, but try to come up with some of your own things. So if this is the sun over here, this one I did where the face was equally divided. Maybe this one I'm going to make the sun look like it's its own person. That's just a basic sun face. Now on the moon face, maybe I want my moon now to be sleeping. So I'm going to take and do just a downward circle like this and put some eyelashes on it. Maybe have a little nose come out into the sun. And then just see part of the moon's lips, right? So now we have the face for the moon and for the sun. Need a little eyebrow above the moon as well. Okay, so what else is required besides putting a face on the sun and the moon? Well, like I said, you got to choose what you want to do. I want my sun to look fiery. So on this one, I chose to do some zigzag lines that look like triangles on the outside with some almost like flames coming off the sun. This is, I wanted to make it look cooler and less like hot. So I did more of a wavy line there. On this one, I think I'm going to stick with the zigzag line on the sun side. Now on this side, I want to come up with a design that's going to be more calm and not so, you know, so exciting. So maybe to use calmer lines, we won't use any zigzag lines. Maybe I'll repeat the edge here. And then maybe we will use wavy lines coming out. Because wavy lines seem more like the ocean. They're a little bit slower going. We'll have those come out all the way around. 
So when we look at folk art, they'll put those first lines in and then they like to add little designs inside of it. So they wouldn't stop here. They'd keep adding little shapes or other lines to indicate, to make it just more interesting to look at. Remember, you're not copying me. You are coming up with your own design. And on canvas, I've placed different design ideas for you to look at and to come up with. So if you brought this to class next week and it looked exactly like me, I'd be like, what's going on? I want you to use your own imagination and come up with a very cool design on your own. When we looked at that folk art, they just kept adding, they love design, they love adding all these little elements of art, lines and shapes and colors to make theirs more interesting. So we can keep adding, I can stop here. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more, but I think you guys have seen enough to know how to start your own sun moon assignment. So this is what we're doing today. Next week we will be coloring. So if you are going to be going to a different house next week, make sure you take your art with you so you can do the coloring at the next house that you go to. Please make sure you're always keeping your art in a folder in a safe place. This week you do not need to turn in your art, but next week you will when it's all done. So make sure you keep this in a safe place so you can put it in the drop box and you can get those points for doing your assignment. Um, I hope you're having fun on our Hispanic Heritage Month.